Well, how would you like to make the best chocolate pudding you've ever tasted in your life? I've got Louise, my lovely granddaughter, who really is mad about chocolate, and she's mad about these puddings, so it's a family love affair. <laughs> That's Louise, quite let's right. get going. Well, I've already yeah. started us off here, Grandma, with greasing these ramekins. You just need a good little pastry brush here, and you go around with the butter like that. Mm. And then... The little trick is to get some baking paper yeah. and to cut little squares, just like that. Mm. And they sit in the bottom of the ramekins and they stop the uh, pudding from sticking when you turn them out. What's next? So next we've got to melt the chocolate mm. that we've chopped with the mm. butter. Oh yes. And of course we use the double boiler method so that it uh, doesn't get too hot in there. If it's too hot then the chocolate and the butter aren't happy, but this way is perfect. And now we get on to the eggs and sugar. So I've got here the four egg yolks and four eggs, and then we add the sugar in. Now we just want to beat this on a nice high speed until it's fluffy and pale. It's got to become thick. That's it's getting there. Fluffy yes. and pale, I think it's like there. it's meant to. Mm. That chocolate mixture's had a good chance to cool. Yes, it's beautiful. It looks like satin. Look. So now what we do is we tip this chocolate here into our egg mixture. So we just fold that together, and then we fold the flour in. Now with the flour. We use half a cup, but you can use less if you want a more chocolatey centre Choc or use more if you want it to be a bit more of a pudding consistency. I like it, the nice chocolatey centre that is like a sauce. That's because you're a bit naughty. Mm, I know. Now I find it's always a bit of a balancing act, getting <laughs> making sure the mixture is properly combined but also not overworking it. But I think we're here with, with this now. I like to pour it into a jug. I just find it easier, but of course you can just spoon straight into the ramekins mm. if you prefer. And it's easy, there we go. We don't fill it all the way to the top because it does mm. rise a little, so you've got to allow some room for that to occur. They keep well too, which is, I think, one of the positive things about it. Well, that's right, and they can go in the fridge or the freezer, so mm. it depends how far in advance you need them. All right, well, they're ready to go in the fridge now. Mm -hmm. Great, now these have been in the fridge for just a couple of hours, but now we're ready to eat them. They can go in the oven. Mm. Of course, if you want to eat them straight away, they don't need to go in the fridge. Oh, lovely. So we've got this set to the fan oven for that nice consistent heat to 180. And in they go. Well, Louise, we've made our favourite pudding, our chocolate pudding. Now, I'm going to have mine with ice cream. Do you want cream or ice cream? I might eat, t try a little of both and I'll put oh. a strawberry on as well. You're naughty. <laughs>